I was 170, want to stop. 171, go ahead. Bianco Terrace and Golf. Charlie Robert, 78859. Charlie Robert, 78859. Bianco Terrace and Golf. Hi, can I see your driver's license and your car insurance? I stopped you because you can't stay in your lane. And you got some tinted windows. Can you roll this one down a little bit? Okay. How are you? Okay, how come you can't stay in your lane? Um, okay. honestly, Yeah. And I'm actually going to go with my best friend. Gotcha. Do you still live on the road? Yes, we're 671. You have your car insurance? So you couldn't stay in your lane because you were on your phone? I was on my phone. I was calling my mom. I don't know what was going on today with my ex-boyfriend. We were at the same bar today. Okay. Uh, actually, my insurance is on my phone. Oh, that works. Yeah, if you could just show me it. Is that okay? Yes, that's 100% okay. Uh, what bar were you at? I was at Premier. Um, What's it called? Premier, but I dropped my friends off. I didn't stay there. We were at karaoke at Ajit on... Oh, yeah, yeah, Ajit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah right I over here. I dropped them off there at Premier. Okay. Um, Where's Premier? It's um right by Burlington, where the old Burlington was on Vault still. Okay. How much did you drink tonight? Um, I had a casual amount of drinks tonight. About, I had about, I think, two beers. Okay. So. Did you find it? Yeah, it's still on the phone. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it looks good. Okay, I want to make sure you're okay to drive, okay? So hop on out of the car. Take your seatbelt off and then just leave all your stuff in your car. Just got to make sure you're okay to drive. I want to look at your eyes. Okay, just stand behind your car. Over here. Just so we're out of the road a little bit. Okay, that's good. Okay, so how much did you drink? Um, I had about three beers from Ajit. Okay, how long ago were you drinking? Um, I believe I had drinks at 10 o'clock over there. And then what time did you stop drinking? Um, I think about 11.30, and then we headed over to Kavina right now. Okay. Did you take any, did you take drugs? Did you take any drugs tonight? No, sir. Okay. Do you have any problems with your eyes? No, sir. Do you have any medical problems? No, sir. Do you have any problems walking? No, any physical problems? And do wear contacts or glasses? No, sir. Okay, take one more step over here. Okay, do me a favor. Put your feet together just like this. Okay. Just like mine are, and then put your arms on your side. I'm gonna look at your eyes, okay? okay. I want you to look at the tip of my finger okay. with your eyes okay. while keeping your head still. You understand? Yeah. Okay, do not move your head. Just move your eyes. Follow okay. my finger. Okay? Right. Keep your head still. Okay, perfect. Okay, I gotta see how you walk, okay? Sure. Here's what we're gonna do. Um, we're just gonna walk straight straight down this way. Basically, we're gonna pretend like there's a straight line. Okay. Okay? You're gonna walk nine heel to toe steps, and then you're gonna turn around and walk nine heel to toe steps back. But I'm gonna demonstrate and show you what I want you to do, okay? Okay. Um, I want you to put your left foot on the, the line, the imaginary line, okay? Okay. And put your right foot ahead of your left foot, so your right heel is touching your left toe. Just like mine. See how mine are? Okay, perfect. Now put your arms on your side. Okay, I want you to stay in that position, position just like that. Don't do anything, don't move, don't start until I tell you to, okay? Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate the test. You following along? Okay. Okay, you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps. Just for the demonstration, I'm gonna do three. It's gonna look like this. One, two, three. Once you get to the ninth step with your front or lead foot planted, you're going to take a series of smaller steps with your other foot, just like this. Then take nine more heel to toe steps back. One, two, three, all the way to nine. Once you start walking, wait, don't start yet. Once you start walking, don't stop walking. While you're walking, look down at your feet and count your steps out loud. Okay, do you have any questions? Yeah, I took a few times at the ninth step, right? No, you, can, you just take a small series of steps. 
Yeah, there's a vehicle. Keep your foot down and then take a small series of steps with your other foot. Okay? No. You understand? Okay. You can take more than three steps during the turn. Hang on. Hang on. Don't start yet. I just want to make sure you have no any more questions. You're all good? Okay. All right. Okay, go ahead. 69. 95. Charles Edwards, 6995. Everyone, the red knee's not going east, no, not stopping. 81 14, 81 14 on the back side. 6, 7, 8. All right, last thing we're going to do, uh, face me again. Put your feet together like this. Okay, don't move. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to pick either ball foot ball up, ball but you're going to hold it six down. inches above the ground straight in front of your body, just like this. Okay. While looking at your raised foot, you're going to count like this. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Just keep counting like that until I tell you to stop. Okay. And if I don't have good balance in general? If you put your foot down, just pick it back up and just... That's okay? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any questions? Well, I just, I just want to let you know I don't have good balance in general. Okay. Okay, fine. Keep your arms on your side. Four, Okay, you can stop. Come over here to my car for one second. Just stand right here for one second. Go ahead. SM 400 All right, last thing. Okay. You gotta wrap your lips around the straw and blow for three seconds, okay? Wow. I just did a new straw. I'm just gonna make sure you're good to drive. And I just passed all your sobriety tests. No, it's not a pass fail test. This is uh, not admissible in court. Okay, but I just confess that I drank three beers. Correct. So right. I gotta make sure you can drive. So sh just and prove to me that you're good, home? and then you can go home. That's it. But I just proved to you that I was well, okay. You gotta, yeah, you got to prove to me that you're good. You got to blow. But my BMI and me blowing is going to be a little bit different than what it's showing you compared to what Right, you show me that you're good to drive. I mean, because right now I don't think you're good to drive. You couldn't stay in your lane. I told you I was trying to pick up my phone to call my mom. I got you. Because of what's happened in my past, because my ex currently just broke up. Okay, I understand. So this is where we're at right now. You're not gonna be able to drive home until you show me that you're good to drive. If you don't wanna blow into here, that's fine. Okay. Okay, there's no ultimatum, ultimatum or anything, okay? okay? If you don't wanna blow in here, I'm 100% I'm cool with that. Okay. But you're not gonna drive home. Can I get a friend to come pick me up and take me home then? Would that be better? Um, I don't know if we're gonna do that, but here's the thing. You wanna blow into here or do you, what, what do you wanna do? Well, I want to know what the options there is are. No, there's no options. It's just you show me that you're good to drive, and then you can drive home. But the only way that you're going to be able to drive home is if you blow under the limit here. You but understand? What's the other option if I don't blow into the limit? There's no ultimatum. I'm giving you that. I'm not asking for an ultimatum. I'm asking what's the other option. There is no other option right now. It's either you want to blow or you don't want to blow. And then we're going to take it from there. Well, it's a, wait, what was that North Milwaukee. You either blow into the... Right, right now, your so option is to day, blow and to prove to me that you're good to drive home and you go home or not. So what do you want to do? Mm, so it's either I blow or I don't go home. No, that's not what I said. That's what you just said. No. So that I blow right now, your option is to blow or not blow. What do you want to do? What happens if I don't blow? Is my question. The, like, there's no ultimatum. It's if you right now, if you blow or you don't blow. What do you want to do? Um, I'm asking what happens if I don't blow. Okay, right. Okay.
Okay, okay put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest for DUI. Well, I can, I can blow into it. I was just asking okay. you a question. That's fine. You're going to have another opportunity to blow when we go to the police station, okay? There is no ultimatum. Well, I was, I didn't know what you meant by no ultimatum. I don't think that's fine with the He called me he's possibly intoxicated. No, okay. You're right now you're, okay. Now he's heading south now. Okay, right now you're under arrest for DUI, okay? When we go to the police station, you're going to blow on the, the breath machine there. Well, can I just blow into it now? No. I'm just confused. No, it's okay. It's fine. Well, when sir. we go to the police station, you can blow on the breath machine there. And if you blow under the limit, then I'll give you a ride home and we'll give you your car and everything, okay? I mean, like, this is my first time getting pulled over. I've never done this before. That's so why I was just asking you a question. As well. I know. And I explained it. I gave you the opportunity to blow. Well, I didn't I didn't know what you were asking. Okay. When we, go to the, when we go to the police station, you can blow on the breath machine there, okay? Well, who's gonna take my Your car's gonna get towed, unfortunately, because well, we can't keep it on the side of the road. My partner's gonna pat you down, okay? Do you have anything in your pockets that, uh, can, that can stick me, poke me? No, just my phone, I believe, I think, from my pocket. Sir, I'm sorry for the confusion, but can I just... I was just sure. honestly asking for, like... I was just honestly asking for clarification. I get, I get it. I didn't, well, like, it's my know, first stop in... Um, is it in the car? I believe it's in the car. Okay. I thought it was in my pocket. Unless I left it in the car. Okay. I was just asking for clarification. I can blow into it right now. Uh, I think he kind of gave you a... Well, I was just confused because it's my first stop. I didn't know what he was saying when he said that it's this or that, okay. basically. Well, like I said, he's going to explain more to you when you guys go back to the preview. You blow the breath machine at the police department if you really want to. Well, can I blow into it now, sir? I just, I really, this is my first stop. I'm not, okay. I no. don't do this. Okay, so right now, me. you're under arrest for DUI. We're going to go to the police station, and you're going to get tickets, and then you can get released and go home. Okay, that's it. We're going to, it's going to the whole process is going to be like an hour. I was just confused on what you were asking, because I didn't know what you were asking with okay. the blowing, and All then right. the other option that you were giving Okay, thank you very much. Thank you guys. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I appreciate you sticking around. Um, my Let's go phone, to my car. My I'm going to grab your phone. I'm going to grab your wallet. What else do you want? Um, my, you can just grab my purse and my phone. Please. Yeah, I'll grab all that for you. Okay, hop in. Maybe you put your butt first. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I went out. Watch yourself. We're gonna go this way. And then we're gonna go up the stairs. Go ahead, I'll follow you. It's gonna be the second door on the left. Off. Okay. All right, come over here. Sit right here. Now, before you answer any questions or make any statement, you must fully understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to consult with the lawyer before you answer any questions or make any statement and to have him present during questioning. You cannot afford a lawyer. One will be appointed for you before questioning or at any time during questioning if you so desire. If you answer questions or make any statement without consulting a lawyer or without having a lawyer present during questioning, you will still have the absolute right to stop answering questions or make any statement until you consult with the lawyer or have a lawyer present during further questioning. Do you understand? Okay. Will you sign this, that you understand your rights? You want to read it, or are you good? Uh, okay, and then you sign right here when you're done. You can hold on to the pen. Do you want to blow in the machine? Um, can I make a phone call? 
Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Call whoever you want. Let's uh, hold off on the phone call until after the 20 minute observation period is over. And then she can call whoever she wants. The what period? So right now we're doing a 20 minute observation period. Okay. And then after the 20 minute observation period is over, and then, then you can make your phone call and call whoever you want. What is the 20 minute observation period? I gotta observe you for 20 minutes before you decide if you want to blow or not. Oh, sure. Are you all done with that? Yeah. Okay. I'll grab that, I'll grab that, I'll grab this. Okay, Bianca, do you want to blow? Um, Tony, I was able to make a phone call before I blow. Uh, change your mind. You can't call anyone until you make your decision. So. Too bad I did. So do you want to blow in the breath machine or do you want to not blow? So if you don't blow, the punishment is more severe. So like I said, if you don't blow in the machine, your license is going to get suspended for one year. So if you do blow and you're over the limit, the license is going to get suspended for six months. If you think you're not intoxicated and if you blow under the limit, then it's not a DUI and I'll give you a ride home and go get your car or whatever. Sure, sure. Um, I just want to know why you were when you were behind the desk. I was, like, I was distracted. What was that? So what do you want to do? Do you want to blow into the breath machine or no? Yeah, I didn't hear you. I said I was distracted. Too much stuff going on. Is this your body cam yeah. right here? Mm -hmm. Um, are you a sergeant, sir? I am. Um, is that true after you let me know that I was able to make a phone call before? You can call after you make your decision because I already put your name into the machine, so... Is it okay if I ask any questions, sir? You know, you know who are you trying to call? Just my dad. Sorry. Okay, how old are you? I'm 23. Okay, you're an adult. You have to make this decision on your own. Um, After that, then you're more. Than, well, I just want to. I just want to make it clear in front of the just body fine. cam that it's that your officer had let me know that I was able to call before I made my decision. Okay. Um, is that okay if I still make that call before I make my decision? No, because this machine's going to time out. It's going to go into refusal. So you're an adult. Even if you wanted to call a lawyer, you have to do it after you have the option to. To use the machine. He so he needs, I'm, well, I'm telling you right now, you have to let him know now if you're going to blow or not so that the machine. Sure, I can make the decision. I just want to know why I wasn't informed that before. I, I, Considering this was a this is an officer who We did the same thing on the street. You want to blow or not? I gave you the opportunity there and you made a big deal about it. And now you have the opportunity to I blow didn't, here. I didn't know okay. so I'm just Okay, so what do you want to do? Do you want to blow in the machine or do you want to not blow in the machine and have your license Can suspended I, so for a year? I speak to okay, you? your license is gonna be suspended for a year. I'm, I'm doing a refusal. It's okay, not fine. a refusal, I just wanna refusal. Yeah, you, 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 you decide now if you want to blow or not, okay? Then you can make your phone call. I just wanna make sure I'm understanding everything. Correctly. What don't you understand? It's not that I don't understand. I just want to know why I was informed I was able to. I, I don't know. He, he, he just told you he was distracted because there was a lot of stuff going on back here. But I'm the okay. only one in here right now. Okay, but there's a couple other officers that were assisting him here. Okay, I just walked in here. Okay? I'm okay with blowing into it. I just want then to. Then he'll unhook you from the bench and you can go blow. I just want to know why I'm being treated like this. I'm treated like, like what, ma'am? You're treated like anybody else? You, you have the option to blow the machine or not. Once you blow the machine, you have you, you can make all the phone calls you want, but you have to make the decision. We don't let people call lawyers, family members, or anything else prior to using the machine. So this is, this is all being recorded. Right yes, ma'am, it is. Okay. Um, I'm okay with blowing into it. You blow? I just want to know why I wasn't informed beforehand and why it was I, being I mean, misled into it. The, the, the answer isn't going to change from what I just told you 10 seconds ago. Okay? I'm asking a different question, though. Okay. I'm okay with blowing into it. I just want to know why no, I wasn't informed No, and that's correctly. exactly what I told you before. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what transpired before I came back here. Okay. Okay. So if you want to blow on the machine, one more. Well, it's not that I. Okay, to, I, it's that you guys are being very hostile with me. No one's being hostile with you. It's all on body cam, but it's right That's it is. But no one is being hostile with you. He just needs to know if you're going to blow on the machine. I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. You saw him yell about 
walk, walk away yelling about me not wanting to blow into it when I was asking a question before me. Just so we can have yelling. another right, video. Are you going to use the machine or no? And you keep asking. Are you going to use the machine? Because it's okay for me to ask a question. I'm not saying it's not okay, but he's, he's simply asking you if you want to blow it. You keep asking a question after he explains it. Well, because he had explained to me that I was able to make a phone call before I was right. able to blow it. Go in, the, go in the back room there. Just, uh, just sure FYI, the FYI your, your boyfriend knows where you are, FYI. He, I, he came to the traffic stop over your window. So did the breathalyzer come out good? I'm okay. You are over the limit. So why aren't I being arrested? I'm What's that? I have clients that being arrested if I'm You are, you're under arrest right now. Oh. But someone can come pick me up right now? Yep. Yeah. yeah. You're going to go home. Yeah, regardless, you're going to go home. You're just going to get a couple tickets and get a court date. That's it. Okay. okay. Do I, if I just pay the ticket, do I still have to go to the court date? No, there's not like a, a fine for the tickets. you got to go see the judge or talk to a lawyer or something like that. There's no like fine for these tickets. Okay. I'll ask this right before. It's, this isn't like getting a speeding ticket where you have to pay it and it's done. Stop. This, this, you, have to go, you have to go to court and you might want to consider getting an order. Okay? So they're going to take care of things back here. Okay? And then when you want to make a phone call, let them know. We got to go add uh, the two. Uh, this is all the uh, 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 body cam. Um, um, so, other than the fact that you said he's overwhelmed, which doesn't make sense that he's overwhelmed, because I have a point here right now, um, can I ask why you only was able to make a phone call before I was I had a lot going on. That's why I asked. I wasn't trying to trick you or anything. I just had a lot going on. It wasn't a trick. Was it? If I'm the only one in here right now, and there's four other police officers I just have a lot of stuff going on. The radio, there's people on the radio and everything. He's well, the body cam footage can pick up the radio. And sure, the body cam footage will pick me up. Fine. There Is that nobody, what you? That's what you want? There was nobody else on the radio though. We were here the whole okay. time. Okay. So, time. so basically, I guess I'm a liar then. No, then the body cam will. It's, it's fine. No, it's fine. Why you're? The body cam footage will show me being a liar, and that's fine. Well, I'm asking you, sir, as adults. Okay. Why you? had told me I was able to make a phone call. Like I said, there was a lot going on. It seems like you're very privileged. What? It seems like you're very privileged. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Uh, I have questions to ask. Sure. It's the like, questionnaire for people that get arrested. What city are you in right now? I'm in Niles. What time is it right now? Just guess. You don't know, have your watch. Um, I'm assuming it's about maybe 1.30. Okay. What is the date? It's going to be the 13th or the 14th since it's... 14th, yes, yeah, correct. Uh, the day of the week. Do you know what the day of the week is? It's Sunday morning or Saturday night. Sunday morning. Are you sick or ill right now? Okay. Have you been drinking tonight? Yes. What have you been drinking? I had about three beers. Three beers. Okay. What? Uh, oh, okay, this about three beers. Uh, what kind of beer? Um, it's like a Asian beer. I think it's called. From Sun. a The Asian Asian beer from a gin. From a gin. Yes. Okay. And I know you. I asked you this on the street. I forget what you said. Uh, what time did you start drinking? What time did you stop drinking? I believe I started drinking around 11.30, okay. if I'm not mistaken, and I believe I stopped drinking around 12, 12.30. Okay. Right now, do you think you're under the influence of alcohol or drugs? Um, not under the influence, but I did have three beers. Okay. And did you take any medication in the last six hours? Not in the last six hours. Okay. Thank you for answering those questions.
Because it's a DUIRS also, I hold on to your driver's license. When do I get it back? When you go back to court. Talk to the judge and talk to the lawyer. Court's in, at, in June, so it's like a month. So, hang on. You are allowed to drive. Even though I have your driver's license, you're legally allowed to drive up until your court date. Okay. okay, so basically like if you get pulled over, you're driving on your tickets. Okay. There's a sheet in here that's like your receipt to drive. Okay. This is it right here. This is yours. And I, am I able to go to like bars or anything like that? Yeah, you probably have to use like an ID or like passport or something. Like, I don't have a passport. Would I be able to use like a, I don't know, that? As like a temporary you could try. They probably aren't going to let you in with a little piece of paper. I would go get a ID, go to the DNA, uh, Secretary of State office and get a... Oh, they can still administer one too? Yeah, you don't have a state ID? You just have the driver's license? No. I mean, I was born here, so I just have the driver's license. Yeah, so you probably want to go get a state ID okay. if you want to go into the bars. Got it. While you are waiting for your DUI well, court date. I mean, considering I had three beers tonight... <laughs> Yeah, okay. I don't think I did anything wrong and I passed your sobriety test yeah. on, the, on the field, so. Whenever you guys are ready. We're still waiting for it to load up. Oh, okay, okay, sounds good. So the court date is going to be on the bottom right hand corner of the ticket. It's also going to be on, uh, there's a couple pieces of paper that have the court date on it. Does that say what I yeah. To? Yeah. This is your copy. So the legal limit is point. Here, let me show you where it's at. Um, the legal limit is point oh eight. So this is your sample. Point oh nine eight. So you're a little bit above the legal limit. Got it. And you can hold on to that. Thank you. Yep. I said you know, was distracted. All right, you're laughing. You can be honest now. I am being honest with you. With one person in here, Officer Brian. Yeah, I had a lot of stuff going on. Lots of paperwork. Do you guys are a lot of paperwork? Lots of paperwork going on. When you were looking at me and telling me that it was okay, Officer Brian. That's right. Correct. All right, we're all done. Come up here and sign your eye bond, and then you can go home. Sign right here. Yeah, as long as it's good, good to go. Basically, instead of paying money to get released right now, you're just signing on your recognizance. You're going to show up to court. All right, perfect. You're free to go. 3.47 a.m. I'm going to put my camera on and I'll walk you out. I got all your paperwork. Is that in there? Yeah, it's in there. Oh, All your stuff. There you go. I'll walk you out. This too? Yep, that's yours, and that's all your paperwork. I don't know if you want to put in your purse or what you want to do so you don't lose it. Okay. All right, ready? Follow me. I'll meet you down by the garage.
Is that your boyfriend's car? That one. What's that? I have no idea. Okay, it's empty, so he's probably inside. You gotta go in and then up the stairs or up the elevator. Okay.